It has been a minute. Life's been crazy. I'm gonna do a couple of different videos today, so if you are watching my channel, you will probably see me in this outfit in a few different types of videos. The only reason I'm gonna do them in different videos is because I feel like sometimes I get wordy and I go from one topic to the next, and I know that my ADD medicine has long since worn off for the day. So I just want to make a quick one about cat construction. I did decide to go ahead and put my lose up for sale the long heavy wig that I got adhered with tape because it is a large cap and even though it works well with tape I'd rather have a wig that fits my head so I have that out there for a, a great price if anyone is interested that's not what this is about though though with having that listed I put in there that it was a Jewish style type of wig cap and then I did receive a few different questions about what exactly that is so with all that said I wanted to go ahead and talk about what I mean by that and the different types of cap constructions that I've become familiar with. Let me just tell you a little bit about my journey. But I started off with some synthetics and they were lace. I knew enough from messing around and dabbling with some of the beauty supply store wigs that lace was where it was at. And so I bought lace to begin with, lace front, which means that it only had lace in the front and the rest of it was wefted or that the cap was not lace. That doesn't always mean that it's wefted. It might be hand tied on lace or on material that's not lace. Okay, wefted means that it has basically a hair weft. I know many of you have probably heard of that terminology. So you see here on the nape of my eye wig, Basically, wefted means that hair is on a weft. It's been sewn together instead of individually, how this is individually inserted into my wig. Looks strand by strand. I started with, it was like a 13 by nine, or at least a four by four, or five by five, six by six. Something in this area was always lace to kind of put on your forehead. Well, then I, I found out about all lace, and I thought, well, that is actually what I want because that means that you can part it anywhere and you don't have to worry about running into a weft. So, this is the eBay wig that I'm always talking about <laughs> as I looked and reviewed some of my videos. I referenced it several times, but besides the first few videos where I was showing adhering with glue, I didn't break her back out. I kept talking about her and I never did. So if any of you are wondering if I still have her, I do. <laughs> She's right here, alive and well. And I still do love the color. I love, love, love the color. In fact, it's probably my favorite color wig-wise. Maybe because I did it and I'm proud of it, I don't know. But this is an all lace wig. So let me just turn this inside out and show you what I mean by that. So you can part anywhere. And instead of seeing any of that wefting that you could see at the nape of this one or any other one that has uh, wefts. So instead of running into something like this, where it has the, the sound, I should say, wefts, it's all hand tied, just like a frontal, if you've heard of that firm, uh, term. Frontal usually means the front of a wig, and usually those are lace because you can adhere them to your skin and make it look like it's this, the hair is literally growing right out of your skin. I loved these. These were my go-to even after synthetics uh, when I started first getting into human hair. Obviously, that's why I have this one. And then I also purchased one, which I'm sorry, she's in terrible shape because she needs washed and everything. But um, this is that I purchased secondhand from another person. I haven't really done anything too much outside of I trimmed the front because it was way too long. That's a story for another video. But this is also another all lace wig. So you can see the difference. Sorry, don't look at the grossness. I need to take that off. I was doing something with it. Usually those stains are probably where someone's tried to bleach it. I really liked the all lace and I thought that that was my go-to for the longest time a few months ago until I discovered these Jewish style wigs. Now not all of these wigs I'm getting ready to show you are Jewish style. In fact, my eye wig wasn't even um, touted as that. But typically what the vendors and suppliers I've found are referring to as Jewish style wigs means that the cap is not lace. 
it's some type of covered material um, for religious reasons and I won't even try and pretend that I'm knowledgeable on this but I will just briefly say that my very minimal understanding of the Jewish style wigs is that they are to cover the hairline of a married woman um, or some other variables and, and um, components might be involved in that but basically covered and they are typically known to have a silk based material at the top so instead of lace because they want it covered it's a silk base material so it looks like scalp it looks like it's coming out of your scalp I had a really bad silk base from a beauty supply store when I first dabbled in, in this um, a while ago and so it kind of turned me off but then I got my eye wig and I love it it is my new go-to um, Besides the fact that the reason I think I go to these styles, the Jewish style wigs, is, is what I seek out now rather than all lace, is because my, my all lace, I have to adhere to my head. Because there's no, you can see right now me just holding it, there's no form. It doesn't keep its form because it's lace. It's a lace material. So it doesn't stay sturdy. If I wanted to wear this, and I've got a wig on now, but I'll just show you. If I were going to throw it on top of one and wear it, it looks a little silly. I mean, I need to style it, but it wouldn't stay. Even with a wig grip, this girl would be flapping in the wind. I would have to always glue or tape this down if I wanted to wear it. Whereas my eye wig, when I put this on, because the cap is sturdy, it would keep its formation and I could literally just go. And it wouldn't be flapping in the wind because it's sturdy, it's solid. It keeps it, even if I were to hold it at its nape, you would see right there, it keeps its form. It doesn't just go crazy. Now I do want to show you one other type of Jewish style wig because although the eye wig could fit that category, it has a lace front added. Thank you. It has a lace front added. So let me show you another typical Jewish style wig with slip face. This is one that I got, and I think I showed in another video, but it was really dark, and I have done some coloring to her, and I really, really like her. I mentioned on a Facebook group that I thought I might sell her, but I haven't. <laughs> I still think I might add some more blonde to her, but I think she's really pretty. I love how the color has come out. and um, But she is an example of, uh, she's got the silk base, as you can see there, but there's no lace front. Okay, so I got this from somebody else, so that's why it doesn't look all pretty and new. But um, I need to fix that clip. But you can see right there, the hair in the front is not on a lace, like that little inch that was on the eye wig. Which at first, I think in one of my videos, I might have talked about how it was really small and I wasn't sure what I thought about that. But the more that I get into these style of wigs, I love it. Now for this one, you could wear, I've worn it before, and I know I'm putting it on top of a wig because I really don't want to take it off, but I've worn it before, and the way that the hair is tied to that front, it comes out and goes over my forehead, and so it's kind of like a Noriko. I know I've talked about Noriko before and how they don't have a lace front. In fact, it's not even lace at all. Noriko is uh, similar to the Jewish style caps where they're all covered. There's no lace. It's all permatease where there's part, or it's just like this one where the way that it's sewn or crafted is that it comes out and it kind of creates a little bit of a shade on your forehead. And so you can't tell that it's not coming out of your forehead and you don't have to adhere anything, um, any lace to you. So while I wasn't keen on this at first, and I thought for sure, like my Jewish wigs um, only, oh, and I haven't gotten that one yet, the um, new, new one wig that I got and I showed in a review, it doesn't have a lace front. And so I had purchased these wig grips they're a wig grip and it has a lace attached to it and I've been wearing them together and I love it. I think it's awesome because I don't have to use tape with it. So just by the sheer fact of it being a wig grip, it keeps it in place. I have used tape with it recently just to kind of see the difference in what I'm going to do like an updo or something and I really like how it keeps it there. But the way that the lace grips are manufactured they're similar to the Jewish style where the hairs just kind of come out and form that and even though it's lace I haven't found it necessary to tape it down or glue it down 
you get the best of all the worlds. I'm probably going all over the place, so just to kind of summarize here and bring it back to this conversation at hand before I switch gears, because I'm gonna save my switching gears for another conversation, but cap construction. So in a nutshell, sorry, I got a phone call right at the end of that, and I was praying to Jesus that it did not cut off our conversation. It did, but. So we were summarizing. I was just talking about how that's the reason the reason that I prefer these quote unquote Jewish style wigs, and not all of these are Jewish style. So let me put that out there. That's just the easiest way that I have found to describe them to vendors and suppliers what I'm looking for. Because if I just say silk base, there are silk base wigs that come on top of an all lace or wefted type of cap. And the difference between that, that's not terrible. It's really not, it's not a bad thing. It's just not my preference. My preference is to get a wig that is a silk base. So I guess the key for me is that the cap, the cap construction, I don't want it to be lace because when it's lace, it doesn't keep its form. And if I were to hold this one at the nape, you'll see what's gonna happen here. <laughs> there, there it goes. It's all lace, so it's very delicate material. If you're into gluing it every day or taping every day, or if you just have a lace wig that maybe fits your head perfectly, and so it is kind of like a sturdy cap. I mean, there really is, there's a different strokes for different folks, right? Not all the same, and I really hope that nobody watching my videos think that I'm trying to say one way is better than the other. I'm really not. I guess what I need to probably say a little bit better in my videos is that this is just my preference. Uh, these are all my opinions. I am not a wig specialist, and I certainly don't know everything that there is to know about wigs. I'm far from it. Just sharing what I've learned because it does seem to be a lot of ladies are looking for a more low-key way to go with your wigs, a grab-and-go sort of option where, in my experiences, although the lace wigs are fantastic, breathable, it's all lace, so there's holes everywhere. The component that's important to me is that I can put it on my head and not have to put glue or tape on it. I can just grab and go if I need to and not have to wear a headband either. This is a uh, fall that I got. I hate to keep calling them Jewish style wigs. It's not necessarily only a Jewish style wig, but a fall I've only seen referenced, you know, in the Jewish style types of companies and um, groups that I'm a part of, but they're basically just like a band. Find my craziness going on, but you can see that band. So they're meant to be worn with like a headband or what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna make this into a ponytail wig. I'm gonna add some wefts and we'll get into this in another video. But I'm gonna stop blabbering. It's probably already gonna be at least 10 minutes, maybe 15 minute conversation. Just, you know how I do? In all my videos saying, I hope this is helpful, and not that I wanna sound like a broken record, but that literally is why this video or this channel exists. I don't advertise it on my personal Facebook page because although I work sentience, loud and proud for years and years and years there's just a stigma with wigs and i just i don't i haven't really like put that out there so i'm not a liar by any means but i just don't publicize it so this is not for popularity or to try and get a bunch of people who subscribe or anything like that really just because i get really wordy obviously <laughs> no surprise there so it's really hard sometimes to type out in the facebook groups all this craziness is going on in my mind. So I just started making videos and here's where we are. So again, I'll say it. So you're not like, here she goes again. I really do hope this is helpful. And if anyone feels like I could do anything differently, do you have any suggestions for me? Even constructive feedback, it doesn't have to be just like, I love you and you know, you, thank you. But anything that you have for me, sometimes I cringe when I watch these videos make your wig wearing experience a little bit better from the things that I have learned on my journey. Have a great rest of your day and weekend ahead or weekend behind if you're watching this following or whatever it is. It's always five o'clock somewhere. Is that what they say? And I'm thirsty. It actually is about five o'clock here. So